everybody. Ah, let me drink a little water, catch my breath. Want you to catch your breath as well if you're dancing. Ah, balance this balance and mobility sponsored by ARP of New Mexico and Villages of Santa Fe. We provide uh, villages provide low impact exercise for seniors and to prevent falls. We work in strength, balancing, mobility. Okay, those are the four components of the fall prevention. Good. So today we're gonna use a little band. If you have one of those, if you don't, don't worry about it. You can do without it. Also, we're gonna use weights um, at your, the size you, and you feel comfortable with. And we're also gonna use the little ball for some people's requests. I'm gonna show you when we we'll go seated, how to use this small ball. Okay, good. I'm still trying to catch my breath. I'm gonna be closer to the screen because you don't need to see my feet. I'll move backwards when you're ready to work the balance. Okay, welcome all of you. You know, we always love you to be here. So, and let me do the uh, 
enable the waiting room so the people come in. Great. Okay. Here we go. So if you have a long band, just be at your shoulder level. Don't go wide here because we're going to work the rhomboids that make that muscle between your shoulder blades that helps you to be our shoulder blades down. Okay. So here you go. In between your wrist, going to open, put tension on that band. Now get that on your chest here. We're going to count one, two, three. Then we're going to release. Open. One, two, three. And release. Open. One, two, three. Open. One, two, three. Open. One, two, three. And the last one, one, two, three. Here, one, two, three, great. Let me see if my sound is in the right place. Yeah, it is, okay. Hope you, everybody's, everybody can listen to me, can hear me. Okay, this one here, gonna work these little muscles in front of your shoulders on your rotator cuff, okay? That makes this arm do this. So hold it between your wrist down below, roll your shoulders back. Gonna do little pulses with your hands, arms going up and down. You can take a little break when you go come down here, kind of relax and then put tension in again. Make sure you have tension on that band, otherwise it's not doing anything. And now. Up. Down, good, I can see on the screen, everybody's doing good. Great, up, the ones that I can see it, you are doing fantastic there. Good, go slow, don't go too fast. One more, this will be the last one. I always do this in my classes, so that way I can really keep those muscles healthy, okay? Right? This is good for people that develop issues here on the shoulders. Okay, this next one is gonna work your scapula, you know, your, your shoulder blade. Gonna bring them, flex, flex in them. So this one is gonna be hold this way. Yeah, modify if you have a long one. This is a loop, but if you don't have a loop, you have to make it shorter. So you're gonna open to the side. So you're gonna pinch the shoulder blade. Then you're gonna close the hands. One, open. Close. So when you open your arms here, pull your arms to the side, you're gonna feel the shoulder blades contracting, okay? This is good for posture. Kind of bring it down your shoulder blades because as we age and we stay too much on a computer or on a phone, that shoulder blades and start moving and you would start have the round back. Okay, this is the last one. Great, good, move your shoulders. We always take a little break in between. This next one, you're pretty much gonna hold the same way between your fingers here, your hand. The left left elbow is gonna be next to the body. Soft, soft the knee, roll the shoulders back. Gonna move that right arm to the side and close. One, two, three, four, and we're gonna do one more, five. Great. Now we do the other side. So right shoulder, right elbow next to the body. I'm gonna move the left arm. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Move your shoulder there. Good. Perfect. Okay. This next one is the one this way. So you're gonna gonna the left hand is gonna pull that band down. Have tension on that band. Don't go high on your elbow, so I don't wanna come over here. It's shoulder left, right here. Proud chest, gonna move, close the elbow next to the body, move the arm, and then open up. Two, we do about six. If you're doing this at home, do about 10 of those. Four, for sake of time, we'll just reduce the number here, and one more. Perfect, I'm seeing you guys doing that, yeah. So I want you to drive with that, with the elbow, okay? So the other side, right hand, pull that band down. 
left arm in the shoulder position, level, and you bring it in close and open. Three, four, five, and one more, and six. Perfect, move your shoulders. Great, so now I'm gonna put between your arms. So here, I'm gonna shield the back, okay? This is the last one we're doing on the back. See it right here? Put between your wrist, and then we're gonna roll your shoulders back. Gonna move, bring the arm up, and you open, and then down. Up, open, okay? That's the way we do them. Just show it on the back side. So here goes, hold your shoulders back. Soft the knee a little bit. Arms up, open the band. One, two, three, four, five, one more, and six. Perfect, great. We are done with the band, you can put to the side. Um, the other thing we're gonna do now, we're gonna pick up the, um, the, um, the weights. Okay, we're gonna start with the weights. So for balance, we talk, always talk about, talk about strength, arms and legs, besides the mobility and the balance and the flexibility. Those are the components. So let's start with your arms. Okay, we're gonna start with the, what we call bicep curls. We're gonna work those muscles right in front of your arms. We're gonna do about eight of those. Eight is too many, just do less. We're gonna come down, all the way down to the floor. Up, two, Soft the knee, belly button to the spine. Five, six, seven, and eight. If you don't have weights, just bottle of water or anything that has a little weight into it works. Okay, move your shoulders. Okay, this one here, you're gonna do a, like a tabletop. I'm sideways, so you know what I'm doing. Okay, we're gonna do what we call the fly. So you're gonna open to the side and to the center, okay? So tabletop, belly button to the spine, relax your neck, look at the floor, open the arms to the side. One, six, two more, one, and two, this one also works the scapula, your shoulder blades helps to be to be in place. Okay, move the shoulders. Okay, now we're gonna do what we call frontal raise. It's gonna um, arms uh, uh, holding the weights, um, palm facing the floor with the weights on their hand. Gonna alternate right and left. One, two, four, don't rush to this. Six, seven, and eight. Remind everyone if it's what I'm doing here does not work for you, please modify or don't do it. Okay, you work at your pace, at your level, and whatever is best for you. You know your body, so keep keep paying attention to your body. Okay. Now you're gonna hold the weights like in a in this position, you know, to the the top of the, the weights to the ceiling. We're gonna keep the elbow next to the body. We're gonna open to the side and back to the center. Open and close. Arms to the side, hands together. Soft the knee, belly button to the spine. Couple more. And two, perfect there, good. We we'll do a little strength training, then we we'll move into balance, then we we'll, which we we'll change around. So this one here, I'm gonna again do a, what we call the tabletop. We're gonna use one arm, bring that the weight next to the chest. You're gonna kick that arm back. See, the only part that's moving is my forearm. See here, we're working the triceps, that muscle behind your arms. That helps with the. The, the flabby arms that sometimes we develop as we age. Five, couple more. One and two. Great. 
Again, modify or don't do as many. Okay, move to the other side so you can see me. Tabletop, don't hunch your back. Elbows next to the chest here. Kick it back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Move your shoulders. Okay, so let's do some balance. So give your arms a little break for the people that are not used to do a lot of uh, weight exercise. We're gonna use my, use my chair. I'm gonna rest my weights on a chair. We'll go back to them. Right now, I wanna make sure that you can see my feet because we're gonna do the balance part. I think you can there. So if you don't need to hold, if superstar, you've been doing this for a while, some of you, have so just don't hold in the chair but if you do just make sure you're safe most important thing is uh, safety okay so now we're going to start with the normal one we always do this right leg up and we're going to hold for seven so one two three four five six and seven tiptoe down don't put the whole foot gonna come up again one two three four five, six, seven. We're gonna do five of those exercises. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't forget to put the belly button to the spine, you know, navel to the spine, holding very tightly, body straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It helps if you lock the opposite knee, you know, the foot that you have bearing out the weight, okay? The last one up, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and down, good. Shake the leg, shake the leg, rewire the brain like I always say. Okay, the left side, move the chair if you need to. Lock the right knee. Also, make sure that you are um, holding the core really tight, body straight. One, two, three, five, six, and seven, and tiptoe down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tiptoe down, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is too much, hold for less. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. Shake the leg again. We're going to rewire the brain. Great. So now we're going to do the leg lifts. We, the, I do pretty much the same exercise all the time. If you guys to learn the routine and can do it in your own art, watch my videos. We These classes are available on video. You may need to request them. Okay. I'll talk about that at the end. So here we go. Right foot goes to the front of the left and we're going to switch to the back. So you're going to Swing to the front, swing to the back, the right foot, right leg. Hold it in a chair so you don't lose your balance if you need to. Four more. One, two, three, and four. Great. Now the other side. On the left side, again, lock the right knee, left uh, all the weights will be shifted to the left side, the right side. Then across the front and to the back. Swing the foot side to the front and back. Four, I'm losing my balance here today. One, the last four. Two, three, and four. Perfect there, great, good there. Okay, so now we're gonna do what we call the hip open. This is mobility on the hips, okay? We always do this one too. So lifting that knee up first and you open to the side and reverse, okay? So what I tell people, when you bring that right knee up, hold the core really tight and you open to the side and reverse. Three. four and five. I'm gonna do a complete 
uh, two of them is one, okay? Six, so we do more. Seven, and one more, eight. Good, shake the leg, shake the leg, rewire the brain, relax your shoulders, hold it in a chair if you need. Left leg up, I'll do a shift to the right side, and reverse. Two, three, four, five, six. We have two more. One and two. Good. Y'all doing great there, there. I can see you guys. Great. Shake the leg again, move the shoulders, relax a little bit. Okay. So the next one is what I call, we're going to put the right foot next to your left, uh, right ankle next to your left ankle right here. The, so the, le the leg's going to be like in a diagonal position, holding in a chair or not. So up and down. So this is kind of works the inner side muscles of that right leg, okay? Also is a balance. One, two, three, four, four more. One, two, three, and four. Good, and now we do the other side. So left in, uh, heels, uh, Ankle, uh, ankle no, heels next to the right side of your right ankle in a diagonal position. And then we're going to move up. One, two, four more. One, two, three, and four. I have a, a colorful shoe today so y'all can see my foot better. I learned that I might need to wear these red shoes all the time so you can see it for better view. Great. Okay, so the next one we're going to do, it's uh, the, the side movement here, okay? So it's going to be a swing of the right leg. So you hold it in a chair for support. Going to swing to the side. Point to the front, across the, leg, the front foot, and, and swing back. Just one more here. Then we're gonna do a little le leg lift. All the, the weight shift to the left leg, lift. Right leg up, lift. Two more, one and two. Good, shake the leg. So now we're gonna do the side front point, cross into the side, just point your toes. I'm gonna go about four more. Good. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna lift. Remember the lift? One, three, hold it in the chair if you need to. Four more. And four, good. Shake the leg, shake that. This will continue to do the balance, okay? So what we're doing here, we're gonna do a combination of balance and strengthening of the legs. We're gonna work the legs only, okay, here. So we're gonna do, you're gonna step to the front and when you come back, you raise that leg up, step. So when you come back, let's, I'll show you sideways, okay? So you step to the front with your right foot my left foot comes off of the floor. My left heel comes off the floor. I step back and then I lift the right knee up if it's possible. If it's too much for you, just do the step and you step back. Got it? So here we go. Up. So when you bring your knee up, you hold the belly. You work the belly at the same time. Right knee comes up if it's possible. Step and back. Just a couple more. I think we do more than eight now. And one more. Great. Switch, left side. Again, choose what's best for you. 
stack, left foot, right foot's going to, uh, right heel's going to come off the floor and back. Back. If you hold, you can do a more, more efficient one, it's easier. Couple more. One more. This is the last one. Great, shake the leg. So now I'm gonna do the side one. I'm gonna do the 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 um, squattings. Okay. So this what do I call the sumi squat foot in that direction. Okay. I'm gonna do sideways so you see me better. So always remember when you go down here to squat, you don't have to go very deep. But I want you to focus on your bring your 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 butt to the back of the room. Do not use the knee towards the front because then you're going to develop pain there. So you focus on a sitting to the back and then up squeezing the glutes and down. You can hold it in a chair if you need to. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. Couple more. And the last one, and up. Those are the good things we do for balance to, to build strength in the leg. We're also gonna work on a chair later that also work the legs as well, okay? So now we're gonna do a uh, another balance exercise here. So you're gonna bring the right knee up, gonna do a kick, gonna kick one and two, and you tiptoe down. Body straight, belly button to the spine, Lock the left knee, all the way it's going to be shift to the left side. So knee up, kick, one and two, and tiptoe down. Up, one, two, and down. Up, one, two, up, one, two. I'm going to do three more. Up, one, two, up, one, two. Two, you can go at your pace. The last one, one and two. Good, shake the legs. Now all the weight's gonna be shift to the right side. Lock the left, right knee, hold it in a chair for support. So go left knee up, holding the court really tight. One, two, tiptoe down. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, up, one, two, and one more, one and two. Great, so shake the leg, shake the leg, move the shoulders. Let's have a little break. Just have a very short break because we can maximize our time. Remind everybody these videos are available, but you have to, and it's gonna put in, in a chat box, um, the email address to email us to request them. I cannot email them to you directly. You have to email us so we can have your permission, okay? So we just cannot do that. Uh, also, we have over 300 videos in our library. So you can see other classes back to last year. My Monday classes, other classes that we have on Mondays for Judas Rhodes, the yoga as well. Okay, so now let's do the seating exercise. Let's sit. Okay, let me take this out of here. And I'm sitting far enough so you can see my feet. Okay, I wanna make sure you see my, my body. That's the best part. People just love this part because they can sit. <laughs> okay, so if you have one of these, you can use it. If you don't, don't worry about it, okay? So the, the first one we're gonna do, gonna sit in the front of the chair. Gonna keep this ball here. Let's assume you don't have a ball. So what I want you to do, put your hands in between your knee. So when you bring your knee in, you resist the knee. Okay, because it's gonna work this inside muscles of your, your legs. So you can put your hands here and trying to close your 
knees and resist it so that work, okay? If you have the ball, put the ball in between the knee and then make sure your, your, your foot is towards the front. Body straight, you're gonna squeeze that ball. You're gonna hold for five. One, two, three, four, five, and release. I'm gonna do about eight of those, okay? Again, squeeze the ball, hold for five. One, two, three, four, five, release. Again, one, two, three, four, five, release. Squeeze the ball, one, two, three, four, five. This is good for the legs, for inside the abductors. One, two, three, four, five, release. Three more, squeeze in the ball. One, two, three, four, five. When I do that, I squeeze the belly at the same time. Two more, one, two, three, four, five, release. And the last one, one, two, three, four, five, release. Great. So yeah, just using the hands does the same thing. This one here, we're gonna use to put in between your foot, okay? Um, if you have, if you don't have a ball, if you have a weight, you can also use the weight to put in between your, your, your foot and hold it. Because what we're gonna do, or you can do this without holding. For this one here, we're gonna sit back so you have your back supported on a chair. We're gonna raise the leg up and hold for three. One, two, three. Squeezing the glute, uh, include, squeezing the, the ball, you work on the outer muscles of your legs right here, okay? So holding, holding the belly. One, two, three, and down. Up. One, two, three, and down. Up. One, two, three, down. Squeezing the ball or put the weight here. One, two, three, and down. Up. One, two, three, down. Couple more, up. One, two, three, squeezing the ball with your foot. Feet, both feet. One, two, three, and down. Let's do one more. Up, one, two, three. So all those exercises with the balls that we're doing right now is gonna help to build the muscles and build strengthening this part of the body. Very, very important. Okay, another thing you can do that I like to do this with my other class that I teach, my walking class, I put my foot on top of the ball and roll to the front and roll it back. You can do this without the ball. Just roll your foot to the front and back. You can do without the ball. So rolling. This works the back of the legs. Put a little pressure on the ball. So if you decided to have one of those, you can buy them on Amazon. They had come in a packs up too. Very easy, not difficult, not expensive at all. If you wanna incorporate into your exercise routine, that's a good thing. Okay, now move to the other side, to the other foot, okay? Roll it in and roll it out. So you, I have a roll, when I roll it out, it's on, my heels is on top of the ball. When I bring that in, my whole foot is on the ball, left foot. Couple more, and the last one. Great, good, great. Okay, another thing you can do with the ball is work the chest. So you put your hands on the ball here, open the wings up, open the arms and onto the side, and we're gonna squeeze and release. Squeeze the ball and release. You can do the same thing with the palms of your hand. Put your hands together and press one hand um, against each other. Here, and release. Couple more. This works the chest muscle, focus on your chest muscles. And one more. Great, good, move your shoulders. Okay, another one that I do with this, you, if you have a playground ball, or playground ball is a little bit more a thicker a material, you also can put that on the floor or this one too, but don't press too hard because then you're gonna pop the ball. So you're gonna put your foot on top of it and see if we can compress it down. Let me go back a little further. You, you, you press it down, so pressing down, you can have to control that knee because 
people with a weak leg, the knees start going everywhere. They start doing this. So I want you to really focus on pressing it down, hold for five, and then release. Press it down, hold for five, release. Down, one, two, three, four, five, release. One more, one, two, three, four, five, release. And the last one, one, two, three, four, five, release. This is all helping your calf, your back of your leg and the front of your leg. So you just step on on and try to control it because the hard part for this one is to control that ball so the ball don't start moving. It stays fit in one place. So holding the core again on the left side, press it like you're pressing against the ball to the floor. One, two, three, four, five, release. Press it again. One, two, three, four, five. Don't pop the ball. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, they're very resistant. Again, one, two, three, four, five. A couple more. Pressing. One, two, three, four, five. And one more. One, two, three, four, five. And release. Great. So that's so many things you can do with the ball. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the ball for this one here. You're gonna sit back, okay? Don't have to have a ball, but since you have it and I have mine, I'm gonna use it. It's a little bit more difficult because you have to take care of the ball, hold the ball, don't lose it. You're gonna bring that knee up and down. You can do this without the ball, okay? So focus on your core. We work on the core right now. Hands to the side. Don't rely on your arms to bring your knees up. Rely on that core on that belly button, knee up. You don't have to go too high if it's too much here. Just go a little bit off the floor, it's fine. Couple more, and the last one. We can do so many things with this ball. So next time we have a class, I'm, I'll teach you some other things. And, and eventually, hopefully this, I'll have time to do a class just a, maybe a 10 minute video so you can watch on YouTube uh, exercise you can do with this, okay? We have a video, uh, I'm on YouTube on the Villages of Santa Fe, look for us. And we have classes, some of my classes are there. Also some of my other exercises are there. Okay, so now sit on one side of the chair. Again, we're gonna work the hip. We're gonna move that left leg to the side and gonna move to the center. So when you do this, I want to really focus your attention on your belly button. Bring that in, trying to train that muscle to be engaged when you move that knee to the side and back, okay? I'm doing one at a time to make it easier. Keep the body straight. Couple more. And the last one. Good, the other side. Okay, be careful, don't fall off the chair. Body straight again, engage the core, belly button to the spine, move that knee to the side and back. This is also mobility on your hip. And one more. I lost count, but it's okay. Good. Now we come back to the center here. Okay, now we're gonna move the back of the chair. Make sure your back totally support on the back of the chair. We're gonna bring the knee up. Again, if this is too much, two, two, both legs at the same time, you can do one at a time, okay? Just gonna open, hold it, one, two, three, and close. Again, core engaged, open to the side, hold for three. One, two, three, and together. You can do one leg at a time, alternating. One, two, three, close. Open. One, two, three, close. Open. One, two, three, close. Open. One, two, three, close. And the last one. One, two, three, and close. Good. Let's do some stretches, okay? I always do this in this class. You sit in the front. So you're gonna open this leg, right leg to the side. In this left leg, you're gonna check the body's gonna be turned sideways onto the left side. Okay. You're gonna try to bring the, your hands down to your ankles if it's possible, or on your knee, or in your 
mid leg, whatever you can. So you're gonna stretch, this is a stretch. It's a good one to do at home. Then you come back to the center. I should do a couple of those here. One more. And then back. Okay, now you're gonna move to the other side. So right. So now you're gonna bend it to the to the right. Both hands on your right leg. I'm gonna bring it down. The second time you do, try to go a little further. Okay, if you can go further down to your ankle or your feet, feel more flexible, do that, or go as far as you feel comfortable going and back to the center. Right again, down, inhale, exhale. Yeah, you need to watch the videos because this class is only every couple of weeks, every other week, so you needed to do more of this. Okay, now you're gonna sit to the front of the chair if it's possible. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stretch my back. So here, towards the front, keep your back straight, hold it like you're reaching to, to grab something in front of you. So you straighten that back, lower back, stretch it, and then come back to the center. Inhale, exhale when you stand at the arms. And back, gonna do one more. Probably go over a little bit of the 45 uh, minutes today. So just a couple of more minutes, good? Because I'm gonna do, uh, do one more for the piriformis stretch. Is the stretch that helps your sciatic nerve here to the side or both sides. So you're gonna sit back. Sometimes it's hard for people to do this. If it's too hard to just cross over, open to the leg to the left, stay in this position or bring that up, okay? and trying to, you're gonna feel right in your piriformis. It's the sciatic, it's the muscle that connects to your sciatic nerve here into the left, okay? So here, there. If it's too much, keep your foot on the floor and open to, to the side. See, I can feel my pretty good here. If you move your body towards the front, you feel it even more, more deeper, a deeper stretch there. And then we we'll come back to the center. Then we do the other side. Again, if it's too difficult for you, just do the other one. I usually try to get my right elbow on top of my thigh and push it down more to a deeper stretch. Okay, right? good. This is our last one. Okay, now we're gonna do the breathing. We're gonna do three deep breaths and then we're gonna Thank our bodies for all the work you did today. So this is your time so you can close your eyes, relax. Let's do the breathing through the nose, three of them. Real deep to the belly and out to the nose, in and out to the nose, okay? Hold as much as you can. In. Very slow. In again. One more, in. Okay, now relax your tongue. This is something that I have learned for me, it works great. So kind of relax your jaw. Keep your tongue, your tongue is just inside your mouth, resting in the bottom of your mouth, not against your mouth. Uh, the sides of your mouth or your cheeks, just let it rest. Feel it, how it feels resting in there. Now think about your body, all the work it did today and appreciate for all it does for you every single day. All the muscles, all the ligaments, all the organs, everything that this body does for you automatically. So thank you, thank you, my body. Thank you, thank you. And we'll say whatever you want to your body. And also appreciate even the parts of your body that doesn't, some parts of your body that don't feel that great at this moment. Appreciate for what it is. Okay.
Good. Now we're going to do this. We're going to open the arms wide. Give yourself that big hug. One for you and another one for me. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Don't forget to look us up on, look me up on uh, uh, YouTube at Villages uh, of Santa Fe. We have several videos over there. And then give us our feedback, what you like to see, what you, uh, would you like it or not? Just give us some feedback. Okay, let me see if I can stop the meeting, stop the recording, stop the recording.